So I've identified a bit of a trend lately, and I'm not sure if it's because I moved to LA or what, but I've been getting a lot more Instagram ads lately for items and pieces of clothing that I would classify as kind of like fake luxury. That is brands that are offering articles of clothing that looked well-designed and look expensive, but they are actually not. They're uh, quite affordable, and that's what I wanna look at today. So I came across this shoe company called Rovux, and before I show you the pair that I have here in person, let's take a look at what they look like online. As you can see, they've got a bunch of different designs, and every shoe says that they've been marked down from $119.95, to $59.95. And I can tell you right now that these shoes are definitely not worth 120 bucks. I also don't think that they will ever sell them for 120 bucks. I think that they are constantly marked down and that's just part of the marketing game. When I first came across the website, all the shoes were going for 49 bucks instead of 59 bucks. So I was like, if I'm gonna try this out and go for a pair, I'm just gonna go all out with the colorway. So I went with these Robux Pride shoes in the green and orange colorway. They're a bit out there, I know. Now online, they look pretty solid and I actually really dig the design. The colors look sharp, it's a really unique design and it looks comfortable. But what about when you finally get them into your house? And I say finally because they shipped from China and they took like three weeks to arrive. But here they are in their full glory and uh, there's free shipping as well, so that's nice. But anyways, two things stood out immediately when I first unpackaged these guys. First, the colors are not as sharp and contrasted as they are in the pictures. And also some of the white paint splotches look a little bit sloppy. And the sole of the shoe, when you look closely enough, is clearly made out of some kind of foam. Uh, it definitely doesn't scream top-notch quality. So the question that I'm eventually wanting to answer is, are these shoes worth $49? Uh, it's a price point which I think most of us would consider in the budget category. And I'm gonna answer this by going over the design and the functionality. Design-wise, uh, it depends on what you're looking for. These are the kind of shoes that look better the further away you are from them. Fortunately, they're shoes and they're generally worn on your feet, which is pretty far away from your head. So usually, most of the time they are at a distance when they look pretty good. When you get closer though, it starts to get easier to nitpick. We already talked about the color being a little bit more faded than it looked online and the execution of the white splotches actually cheapens the look rather than adds to it when you see it up close. Also, the paint that was used to create this white wrap is uh, super low quality and it's already wearing off the bottom within the first week of use. But then again, I mean, these shoes were $49, so you know, what, what exactly are we expecting here? On feet, they're surprisingly comfortable and they fit true to size, but they're just not very supportive. I wouldn't rely on these to do anything too active or heavy duty, but as a casual shoe, I can wear them for hours. I've even taken them on a couple hikes with Rio and Dinty. You know, nothing too strenuous, but still off road and they got the job done just fine. I just wouldn't do these for any like crazy hikes, anything that involves like inclines or too many stairs, stuff like that. But your casual walking around, even off road, I was, I was comfortable. Now I wanna to touch back on this foam material that we talked about earlier, because even though they don't look like the highest quality, they're actually really comfortable uh, on my feet. I don't know yet how quickly the sole would wear out, but I've never quite experienced the bouncy, cushiony effect that I got with these pair of shoes. It's surprisingly nice to walk on, and it also feels super light. It, it almost feels like a suspension system for your feet, and it just absorbs the ground beneath you. Going back to the lack of support though, if you have any walking issues or you need a shoe that is structured sound to help you out with your wonky feet, uh, these will not be for you. So what are we saying here exactly? What's the conclusion about are these worth it or not? And the truth is, uh, now that I spent the $49 on this off chance pair of shoes, uh, I can definitely see myself wearing them. The way I see it, these are a great semi-fashionable pair of beater shoes. They're cheap enough where I don't have to worry about what happens to them, uh, but they're unique and stylish enough to get away with a cool look. Again, from further back, the better. Now in this video, we've only talked about this one specific type of shoe coming from this affordable, pretend luxury type of website. But looking at the bigger picture of things, like I said, I've seen the trend of more and more products coming out like this at an affordable price, whether it be shoes or kind of the tech joggers or just anything like that that has a special design element and surprisingly cheap. Basically, I wanted to know what you guys think of this new trend. Have you purchased from any of these Instagram ads that you've seen where you don't really recognize the brand, but the item looks cool and kind of cheap? And were you happy with the results once you finally got the product in hand? I like that boundaries are being pushed and that brands are coming out with more intriguing, visually designed products at an affordable price. But I think that the quality still has a bit of ways to catch up before we can start making these purchases on a consistent basis. And guys, that's pretty much what I had for you today. I just wanted to open this kind of conversation on the fake luxury that I was talking about 
get your thoughts. These were my thoughts. I mean, I just, you know, I took the chance on a $49 pair of shoes and uh, they're, they're all right. Now that I have them, like I said, I'm gonna wear them uh, just, uh, just for fun. With that said, guys, thanks for watching. If you are interested in the website where I picked these up, I will have that linked down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the email list down below. We're giving away monthly Bloom On products every single month to people who sign up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see everybody next time.